Good. Come with me. Over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. Ah! Good. Over here. I'm keeping my hand in front of this dog's face. That's all my focus is. Touch. 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 Touch longer. There you go. That was awesome. Okay, follow me. Follow me. Good. 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 Touch. Nice. Nice. Ah, uh -uh, not my foot. Okay, come over here. Ah, uh -uh. follow my hand. Touch. That was good. Ah, uh ah, -uh, ah, uh ah, -uh, ah. Uh -uh. That was good. Very nice. Follow me. Wait. Get back here. Get back here. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Easy. Easy. Very nice. Wait. Touch. Very good. Back up. Very good. Are you done chewing? Step. Touch. Touch. One more. There you go. Follow me. Come on. Easy. Easy. Over here. Over here. Ah, 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 ah. Wait. Ah, ah, ah. Over here. Over here. Come on. Good. 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 Touch. No. Ah, ah. Off. 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 Ah, ah, ah. ah. Over here. Good. Here. 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 Ah. Touch. 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 Good. Touch. You even did the advance. Good job. Okay. See how easy that was? <laughs> okay. So let's talk about what just happened right there. First of all, I picked that dog because I can see in his eyes that he was a problem child. <laughs> also, that breed is very high prey drive. So what I need to do is I need to establish that I'm the leader. First of all, getting him to not jump on me. The other thing was, is I needed him to learn he needed to pay attention to that hand. So as I was walking him around, did you see him start to pay attention to that hand right there? And then over here, when I told him to touch, he knew exactly what I wanted him to do. But he would kind of scoot around it a little bit. He's trying to put his twist on what he wants to do. That was not acceptable. I wanted him to touch that. When he did, I rewarded him. Did you notice that after a little bit more of a difficult object, I started to have a little better rapport with him? He did good over here. He did excellent on the purple one, which the purple one is a more advanced target right there. But he put one foot up, and what did I ask him? I wanted both feet. And then what did he do? He gave me both feet up. That's how I would evaluate a dog to say, this dog respects me enough for me to start doing a training session. That dog needs more time to do that without all the testing. All that jumping up and touching is testing. I think I'm in charge of you. I think I'm in charge of you. And if I let him get away with it, then that's exactly the way things are going to go. OK, so I want my first dog here to touch this target right here. 
and smile. <laughs> Yeah, sexy girl. <laughs> there we go. Do you notice she put her own little twist on that? Okay, now let's get her in. <laughs> She's telling you guys, watch this. Okay, now get her to touch one of those targets. Notice how she has the dog on a loose lead. There you go. Look at that. Good job. Now, was she that responsive yesterday? She was. She was kind yeah. of, yeah, like that. Each day can get a little better and a little better. Let's see if you can get her with all four feet on that purple one. See how she redirected her attention? Look at that. Good job. Okay, you're doing fantastic. I want you to kind of play around with all of these things over here. Try to get her to touch front feet. Try to get her to touch rear feet. Good job. You're focusing more on the goal mm -hmm. than the task. The most important thing about the task is that, that you develop communication with that hand. And a common mistake people will make in the beginning is they'll focus and think that the target is the most important thing. The target is secondary. And that's so, how we practice agility. You drive to the target, you are going to the same place. Right. But you're not communicating right. solid with that hand yet. Right. Okay, so I want you to take this black target right here and slowly, at your pace, no eye contact, lead her to that target. Nope. She's not looking at your hand at all. Where was my hand when I took the wild dog? Yeah, I have to get it off her forehead. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, so where was my hand when I was working with the wild dog? Right in front. Right in front of that two face. Off the ground or two feet off the ground? Right. There it is. There it is. That's how this exercise starts, just like that. Because there's no question now that the hand is important. But if you stand up and your hand is kind of, sort of, mm -hmm. then the rest of your training will be kind of, sort of. And you don't want that. Right. Okay, so I want you to stop looking at your dog. I want you to take your lead hand and take her over to the green target and see if you can get her to stand with all fours on that green target. That hand's not communicating at all. Not communicating. Come back here. Okay, put your hand right in the dog's face. There it is. Now lead. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right in the dog's face. All four. So that means you have to come lengthwise. There you go, almost there. You almost got it, almost got it. Try it again. Right in front of the face. You cut that a little tight. Try it again. Oh, yeah, almost had it. Okay, nice and slow. You're going too fast. There it is, good job. Okay, so ignore your dog and look at me. You're focusing on your dog too much, and you're trying to do things too quickly. It's not about speed. It's about doing it correctly. When you focus on putting that hand right in the dog's face, the dog, you guys see the dog looking at her hand? You're establishing that communication. But if you pick it up and you just take off, there's no more communication anymore. So I want you to practice on all these objects over here and focus on communication as the most important thing. Okay? Good. Good. There you go. Good. Okay, go to the turtles. Those pods. Okay, he's kind of leading you. <laughs> There you go, good job. 
Okay, now stand up, look at me, and ignore your dog. Okay. You guys, this exercise will go very, very well if you slow down and you have the treat in front of the dog's face. If you lift it up prematurely, then you're going to get an opportunity for the dog to take over. You don't want that. Because if the dog in its mind thinks that it, it led the exercise, then everything that you're working on just went out the window. The goal is to make it so you're establishing that communication with your hand. If you take that out of the equation, what just happened to your goal? Down the tube. Okay, so the purpose of this exercise is to establish that communication. Pay real close attention to what I'm going to say. If your dog is not focused on your hand and you continue to walk before you correct that, then your dog is leading the exercise. Is that a bad thing? Yes. yes, it is. If you want to be successful, you have to stop and understand that the most important part of this exercise is establishing and maintaining communication with that hand. So you can say, ah, or do anything to get their attention, shake your hand, and get them refocused on that hand by putting that treat right in front of their nose. Okay, so I want you to take the dog to the purple target and maintain that communication. There you go. There you go. There it is. Good job. That was awesome. Let me have my next dog on this target right here, please. Okay, so your dog touched that. <laughs> yep, okay, so we'll go ahead and redo that onto this blue target. Okay, and you didn't really give a command, though. Your dog just did it. Yeah. So you want to tell the dog, touch. You're, you're making this happen. You guys, remember when I had the first dog? But if you lead the dog to a target and you don't say anything, you're not really doing that second part of the exercise. So you did a really good job of communication, but now you want to make sure the dog understands that you're leading it. Okay, go ahead and touch the pods. Good. Good. Very nice. Yay! That was a great exercise right there. Okay, let's see if you can get rear feet on these pur the purple one. Good job. That was excellent how she led that dog over. There it is. Nice. Good job. Now, here's something extremely important. You're doing a phenomenal job. But when we switch over to confirmation and you want to get that dog to focus on your hand, you're going to take away from it with your eye contact. That's hard. For me. That's hard I understand. But that's going to be very important because in the ring when you're doing confirmation, if you look at the dog's eyes, where's the dog going to look? And it's going to miss that important communication. Right now in the beginning training, your hand is right in front of their face. So that's not as big of a factor. But when you're standing up and you, that dog needs to see your hand out of the corner of their eye, and you look at them with the eyes, they're going to miss all this right here. Okay. Let me have this dog on this target. Ooh, good job. Good job. There you go. She's like, what did I touch? Good job. Okay, try the blue target. Good. Good communication. Good. Very nice. 
Okay, let's touch the pods over here. Good, good. Yeah, good job. You know, I don't know if you guys are catching this, but this dog is not only extremely smart, but she's a manipulator. And so what's happening in this situation is she came out here, mom's bringing her out, she's doing her thing, she's touching everything that she needs to touch, but as soon as she got over to here, she wanted to do it her way. Now, the reason why you brought out a little bit more of her here is because in this situation with these, it's a little bit more difficult exercise. They're a little bit taller. They have a little bit more texture to them. So they're going to kind of say, <laughs> they're going to kind of say, we're not here in our relationship yet. So she's going to make you work for that right there. This is a very smart dog. I mean, she's, yeah, she's very smart. And, and, and she's got her own little personality there, too. Okay, I want you to try to get her rear paws on that green pad over there. Just the back two? Or? Just the back two. Change your tone to a little bit more authority. Oh, almost. Okay, more authority. What happens when she puts more authority in that tone? She doesn't want a wishy-washy master. Good. Oh, so when she steps, look at me, when she steps up, then you want to stop her. So she has to put that foot down. So it's all about communication. So go ahead and practice that. Okay, let me see this dog on this target here, front paw. Good job. Yay, that was awesome. Okay, now see if you can get her to do one of those pads right there. Is this a dominant one or what? She's very dominant. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> That's okay. Just laugh it off. Laugh it off. Try to do the black target right next to you. That's dominance right there. Okay, now remember the head straights with the right hand. Yep, that's close. You had a 50-50 option there. <laughs> that's, and that's perfectly fine. I want that in a dog. I want to see that kind of an attitude right there. That's the one I would pick to show right there. As sweat's dripping off of her brow right there. <laughs> okay, so go over to that, that pink target over there. Try to get her to do that and try to do sneak in some head straights. And you can leave my target there too. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> you are silly. Okay, she's going to come over to that pink one, so don't be a lunchable.
She's got one leg not on it yet. Okay, let me see you right here, please. On the, on the green. So head straight every once in a while. Good girl. Hug it. Good. Very nice. Give her a treat. Now I want you to put your lead in your left hand because I want her to focus on that hand. Okay, go to the black target over there. Don't say ready. You good catch right there. Are you ready? <laughs> See, she didn't answer me either. <laughs> yeah, good job. Good job. Now keep that leash in that left hand. You guys you gotta get comfortable with that right there. Okay, go ahead and take her to that purple target. Good job. Excellent job. You guys practice head straight also. Yeah, good job. Okay, everybody focus up here for a second. Does this dog know how to touch a target? Yes, you've already demonstrated it. So when she first came out and she asked him to touch that blue target, he stepped around that. Was that because he didn't know what to do? Nope. He was testing her. So when you have a dog that does that and you know it knows how to do that, you have to understand that's your relationship with that dog right there. So in this situation, this dog doesn't respect her that much and he keeps testing her by jumping up and by touching feet and one of the worst things you can do is establish eye contact with this dog because if you look in the dog's eyes anything you do the dog thinks that he made you do that okay let me see my little tiny toy puppy over here let's touch the let's target right here good job oh my gosh you are gorgeous Nice. <laughs> it's like a baby giraffe. Good job. Okay, let's touch. <laughs> Somebody mauled my little things here. Okay, so let's get him to touch one of these. Good job. Okay, shake and get that bait right in front. See, this is a great exercise program for you, too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It covers the whole target. <laughs> Get super excited when he touches that. And keep your hands slow. Nice. Look at that. Give her a hand. That was awesome. There it is. Good job. That was awesome right there. Okay, big praise. And then lead him over to, oh, first I got to say Uncle Eric. Let's say hi to Uncle Eric. Yes, I do. Oh, my goodness. Okay, go ahead and go to the pods over there. Good, good, good. Look at that, guys. Beautiful job, beautiful job. Almost close, close, close. Yay! That's awesome. Okay, let me have my Swissy here on this target right there. Look at these dog's feet right here. That dog knows exactly where that target's at. 
Yay! Okay, so take this dog down and back, please. Watch your eye contact. Very nice. Very nice. That's beautiful. Shake your hand. Good. Okay, so you lost her. She took over. So you need to bring her back. Bring her back over here where she took over. And then you lead her to that target. There you go. Good job. That's nice. Okay, go play over there and get her to do rears and fronts and all kinds of cool stuff over there. Anywhere around in there. Okay, next dog, please. Give her a hand, guys. That was actually pretty awesome. Okay. Ooh, that was beautiful. Where were you the first time? <laughs> oh, oh. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> yep. Okay, get in front of her. Get in front of her. Look at that, guys. Give her a hand. Did that feel good? <laughs> Okay, and get in front of her. Get a little closer. See, you're too far away and you're giving her too many options to go. Nice and slow. Watch your eye contact. And with good authority. Slow down. Slower, slower. A little slower. There you go. There you go. With authority, tell her touch. She's right there. Okay, praise the heck out of her. Go play around over there a little bit. You, look at me. Watch your eye contact. Okay, go play around. Okay, next dog, please. Okay, watch out because I'm coming down and back right here. Watch your eyes. Yep. <laughs> You guys, it only takes a split second with eye contact and they'll go to ground. Beautiful job. Beautiful. Beautiful. Shake your hand. Good, good, good. OK, 
Okay, go. You get in front. Well, I wouldn't have to vacuum. <laughs> Watch your eye contact. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Good job. Okay, go ahead and play over there. Give her a hand. Good job. Okay, next dog, please. Good job with Luna over there. Very nice. Shake your hand. Good. See if you can get Luna on her rear feet on that. Okay, you lost your dog, and then you pulled back like that. Okay, so just go halfway down and back. Watch. Good. Very nice. Shake your hand. Pretend you have no lead, like when you did off lead yesterday. There it is. Get right in front. Okay, so bring both hands around to get the dog to come around. Right in front of the dog's face. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Give her a hand. Awesome. Okay. So you did really, really good, but every once in a while you're losing that connection. And instead of regaining that connection, you're pulling. And so that makes you go one step forward, two steps, two steps backwards. All right. Go ahead and find a spot and go play. All right. Let me see the quiet dog. <laughs> okay, down and back, and then you make her touch that. Excellent job. Shake your hand, shake your hand, don't pull. Good, good. Good. Shake your hand. Good. Okay, you get in front. You get in front. Nope, she kind of just jumped up on there. Yeah. So you got to slow her down. So okay. take her halfway down and back and do that again. There it is. Okay, so you got to slow her down. Don't let her do that on her own. Stop her. There you go. This is, that was questionable, but I'll give you that one. Give her a hand. Okay, look at how smart her dog is here. Her dog, each one of these dogs is manipulating in a different way. It's still doing the same thing, but they're doing it from different angles. So you have to learn how to be smart enough to catch that. All right, go ahead and take your dog and play over there. Pug, please. Okay, now, are you communicating with that hand? Nope, I'm just walking over here watching the other dog. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and communicate with your hand and take your dog down and back. Good job right there. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now you're going to slow down. You're going to get in front. There it is. That was fantastic. Elbow, elbow bump. Yay! Now, when you were coming over here and I asked you that question, you said you weren't communicating. What was the reason for not communicating? I was watching where I was going first. I was like, okay, that dog is still in the area. I'm not clear to go yet. Should I start walking forward? I'm walking forward. Is she saying, like, my mind was everywhere, but like. But what you were doing. Yeah. Okay, everybody, take a break for a second. Listen up here, over here. Okay, so when she was preparing to do this exercise, she was watching that the dog was still in the area right here. So she was focusing on that dog. So when she walked over here, there was no communication with the hand. The problem with that is that I don't care if you're potting the dog or walking outside, 
you need to communicate all the time. And the reason for that is that gives you, A, it gives you an opportunity, but B, if you communicate sometimes, but not all the time, guess what's going to happen with the dog? They may pay attention sometimes, but not all the time. So you, I, anytime you're in the presence of the dog, you're doing a training session right there. So keep that in your head. All right, so go ahead and take your dog, do some playing in here. I want to see you guys doing some head straight positions. How many of you feel that watching this group, their dogs work better for them this time than last time? Absolutely. So we're seeing some growth there. Good job. Maverick says, I'm going to touch everything. There you go. Big smile. Touch. Get right in front. And slowly get the dog's attention. There it is. Get a little closer. You're giving the dog too much room to escape. There it is. Almost. Yay! Okay, go play over on the other side. Do some head straights. All right, next dog, please. Good job. Excellent job. Okay, now slow your dog down. Get in front. And tell your dog to touch. Touch, 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 touch. A little closer. There it is. There it is. Almost. Almost. We're going to defy the laws of gravity here. Don't wave. Slow your motions down. And put more authority in your voice. Now that was kind of not, that was the opposite of more authority. There it is. Slow down. Good. <laughs> At least you see the dog's rear came up off the ground. He's like, I'm going to do everything not to touch that. Touch. Touch. Yeah. Yay! That was awesome. Give her a hand, guys. <laughs> okay, go play over there. Next, please. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that dog was trying not to touch that target so much that its rear came off the ground. Good job over there. Dog is acting like a bloodhound. Yay! Look at that! Give her a hand. That was awesome. I'm not going to rescue you. Uh uh. Yeah, you are a big baby. <laughs> Very nice. A little more authority. Up. Let's try up. Uh -uh. 
Try holding the end of the leash. Watch your eye contact. Take it from there. So use your body to communicate to try to get the dog to step on there. What are you using for bait? Um, well, I tried my other treats and french fries seem to work better. So oh, I french fries are good. Fries. So let's get that off his rear foot first. Anybody have a big piece of bait? What's that? Hot dog, yeah, that'd be good. That's a little piece, though. Oh, oh, okay. I want a big piece of bait. I want a Great Dane-sized piece of bait. You want that little hot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we work. It <laughs> got her attention. There you go. Great, thank you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Come on. Good job. Back up, back up. Good. Very nice. Good. Step, step. Come on. Good job. Step. Oh, that's good. Step. Good. 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 Yum. That's a good stuff. Yes, here. Good. She's got it. I got it now. What do you think about yeah. that? Yeah. Good boy. Come on. Yum. Good boy. Step. Step. Guys, watch this. This is funny. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That is hilarious. Step. He's going to defy the laws of gravity. Yeah. Oh, do it. Okay. He'll do, he'll do it. He's there. One step. One step. Almost. One step. Almost. This is the epitome of stubbornness right here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Step. Come on. You gotta do it. Step. Step. Yay! <laughs> okay, go play. Go play. Was that awesome or what? Wow. That was a milestone right there. That was fantastic. The cool thing about this is you can use, you can go to a feed store and get some of those feeding buckets and different bowls. And I mean, you can use anything. I had a lady, a young girl, who wanted to get into handling, didn't have a lot of money, so she used cans, you know, like tuna, chicken, and then graduated to big cans, <laughs> like beans and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool because basically your, your imagination is your limitation for this right here.